my dudes, qué gusto continuar con más de esta transmisión especial desde Live Out 2022 con muy buenas propuestas musicales y si algo nos tocó ver a muchos en el escenario fue a Too Many Suits. Yeah. Guys, how are you? I mean, you you've come you're coming from the stage. You already played, so I think it's a, a different sensation that you had before the stage. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, um I, it was a bit exhausting, you know, it, it's hard work, especially in the sun. So that was pretty intense, but um, I'm feeling very happy because I think it went well. And um, we've, I, I've had a great time being in Mexico and I think the crowds have been really great and have liked us. So uh, I feel good, but also a little bit, a little bit sleepy. A little bit sleepy yeah. yeah, but I saw you dancing there. Like you, you didn't seem sleepy there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, when the show's happening, I'm feeling like you completely forget ready to go. But then afterwards, I'm you know, putting my stuff away. I'm like, whoa, that's a little bit exhausting. But um, yeah. You have fun. We, we could tell you have fun. And I think that's something that you guys have on your music, on your sounds. So there's a lot of people that might not uh, be identified with what you're playing. Maybe they don't know what is the genre or what, you, what kind of music you do. Uh, so if you could describe what you do, how would you do it? Wow, that's an interesting question. Uh... We're, I would say we're kind of a mixture of so many things and uh, dance music, I would call it. I would also call it like futuristic music. Uh, uh, I think there's a little of something in there for everybody. Uh, we're like seasoning, we're like salt and pepper, you know? <laughs> uh, and I don't, I don't, it's really hard to describe. Uh, there's a lot, there's something in our music for everybody. Old, young, new, unborn, dead, living. <laughs> Everybody can find a little piece of something in our music. That's what I would say. It's a potpourri. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting because here in Mexico, when we have, like, we have tacos and you put cream on your tacos, we, we say, like, le pones mucha crema a tus tacos y ocupa la crema. So it needs the cream so it can yeah. taste better. So I think that's what would be uh, too many sous for us. So thank you for coming. I, I don't know if this is your first First, first time in Monterey? Uh, it's my first time. Yeah, first time for me. Playing and everything. Yeah. But it's not your first time in Mexico, or, or it is? No, no, we were, uh, we just did a festival in Guadalajara like uh, a week ago. So you already been like familiar with the Mexican uh, people, which is a really, we, we like to party. I think you identify that on the audience. Yeah, uh, we like, I like to party as well. I don't, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I like to party. <laughs> I mean, it's really nice to have you here because I know that you have like a, like represent uh, a part of the music that is a lot of more independent than we're used to. It's not that like maybe what we call commercial, but you have had many opportunities on the music industry and we love the fact that you started on the streets. Here in Monterey, there's a lot of people with so many talents and I mean in, in every place of the world that maybe doing this on, on I don't know, in the, on the subway or whatever, and they might have been like thinking, you know, I don't know where I'm going with this, but you, you were feeling like that when you were starting and now you're here, so what can you give, what kind of message can you give to that people who are starting? Uh, I, I don't know that I ever felt that way. I came to New York to do this, you know, I didn't know this is what it would be, but I came to New York to play music and to do it successfully and make a living at it. I didn't know it would be too many zoos, but I, I, I came to New York with that intention. I never, I never thought that it would not happen. I just believed that it was going to happen. So I always had that intention when I came to New York that I was going to be in a band, an original band that played original music, that was my goal. That's important, I mean, to, to believe what you're gonna do, what you want to do, and I think you guys, well, hopefully you can have, uh, you can keep coming back to Monterey, maybe for a show. I know you've been in Mexico City, Guadalajara, and well, I think Monterey, we appreciate uh, a date for only too many sous. Yeah, I would love to come back here and play for sure. Perfect. Any other project that you have in the future so we can be like, you know, looking for you guys on the social media? Um, just we're always making new YouTube videos, so follow us on YouTube and uh, we're going to come out with an album next year. We have a new EP coming out November 7th. 
Ok, perfect, perfect. Ahí lo tienen, chicos. Too Many Zoo se presentó aquí en Live Out. Ya están medio cansados. Are you going to stay for the festival? <laughs> I don't know, you, you're a little bit tired. What? Yeah, I'm, unfortunately to leave at 2 a.m. I'm hoping to catch... Whoa. I'm hoping to catch a little bit of Youngblood. Uh, okay. Hopefully he's on right I now. Think I think he's on right now. Yeah, so I'm hoping to catch a little bit of him. Ok, perfect. So, ahí lo tienen, chicos. Too Many Zoo a través de Dina Irina. Y nosotros continuamos con más.